You'd think that the hard part was over for the Manhattan District Attorney's Office. They won a round in the Supreme Court, avoided a second one, and you'd think from here it was smooth sailing. But really, those millions of pages of documents that you referenced are, in fact, the hard part of the investigation ahead. How do you organize them? How do you put them together? And how do you try to fi figure out whether or not you've got a case and wrongdoing ahead? So former prosecutors that we've spoken with, including ones that have uh, brought cases against Paul Manafort and other people in tax fraud cases say the real challenge going forward is building that timeline. What was the president and the Trump organization presenting to banks, insurance companies in the state of New York with their tax filings? And were they doing it at the same time? And were they making representations to banks about income and assets at the same time they were making perhaps different uh, presentations to state uh, tax authorities. So those are the types of things that they'll look at. They'll try to speak to some of the people involved in preparing these taxes, getting them before a grand jury, locking in their testimony, and perhaps, uh, according to one former federal prosecutor, Andrew Weissman, who was involved in the Manafort case, uh, the key might be flipping or getting some of those people to cooperate in the ongoing investigation to perhaps uh, be able to tell the narrative of what happened here. Now, this case has expanded, uh, initially started with Stormy Daniels and the payments that were made there and now has gone on to other Trump properties and as CNBC reported, even his property in Seven Springs, New York. So much more to come, but a long ways down the road, Shep. Tom Winter, thanks so much. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.